What's good, Cinema Show lovers? It is your girl, Sid, and I am back with another lit video, y'all. As you see in the title, I will be doing something a little different today. Um, something that's kind of kind of fun and um, for my ladies out there. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to my returning subscribers. What's up, gang? Yes, we are Liddy. So today we will be doing a what's in my spend the night bag. And I figured let's do it like a boyfriend edition. Um, and I'm just going to be showing you guys pretty much what I pack in my bag to take with me to enjoy the weekend over my boyfriend's house. So let's get started without further ado. No more time to waste. Okay, first things first, you're going to need a bag to put all of your things in. So this is one of my tote bags that i use y'all it's real cute plaid and everything corduroy okay it's either between that and my love pink bag so i have two tote bags it really doesn't matter it just depends on whichever one i see first that's whatever one i grab so yeah um i feel like i'm gonna pack for two days because the most i normally go is like two days so i'm gonna show you guys what i pack for two days going over my boyfriend's house so first things first, you guys are going to need a toothbrush and toothpaste because like that's the main essential. So make sure you guys have your toothbrush and toothpaste because you got to stay up on a fresh mouth. You feel me? So this is what I'm bringing. That's the first thing I am packing. Um, Second thing, this is pretty much just like body products, y'all. So you got to have your soap, Dove soap. This is the best one to me, the um coconut, the cocoa. Wait, what is it? Shea butter. Shea butter. I love this smell. It smells so good. Just like the original one, but me preferably, I love the shea butter. It leaves a very good scent on my body and it gets me clean. Next, we're going to have deodorant. This is a definitely must because you do not want to be musty around your, okay? You do not want to be musty around your man. So you got to make sure you have your soap and your deodorant, and on top of that, your toothpaste, the main essentials to get yourself clean. Next is face wash. If you're not washing your face, then what are you doing? Like, I feel like everybody has a face wash that they use on their face. Mine is Acne Dope, and um, I just, I always bring this around, whether I put it in a little travel kit too, but I always have to have my face wash, whether it's when I'm out the country, the state because i feel like everywhere i go my face tends to break out i think it's sensitive so that's the main reason and to back that up i have a bio oil that i bring and it just keeps my face smooth and not dry so i always put that on together the two combinations and it helps with my face and try to keep it clean and moisturize okay next is lotion you have to have lotion whether it's your knees your legs your arms your face you definitely have to have your lotion and make sure you are keeping your body moisturized and put together okay next i have my hair products and i'm gonna have my dimming brush and y'all i don't even know if this is a dimming brush like i feel like stupid because i'm just like are dimming brushes, do they come in all different things? Because I feel like it's a specific brush that, you know, they call dimming. But I'm just going to say this is a dimming brush. Like, I really I really don't or can't tell a difference between them. Um, but, yeah. And I have my brush to slick my head up. Because normally when I am going out anywhere or to my boyfriend's house, I always have my natural hair out. So... Nine times out of ten, my natural hair is out, and I need this to slick my hair up, and I need this to brush my hair out. And then that's when my eco styling gel comes in. Yes, I bring this big tube because I never know what I'm going to do to my hair. I never know whether if I prep my hair or not, I'm going to need to retouch it up. So I always bring in this. This is my best friend, y'all. My best friend. And that brings in this water bottle. Yes, y'all, I bring all of this because I just got to stay prepared. I don't know about y'all, but I always have to stay prepared. No matter how much stuff it is, I'm bringing it. So this is for my hair. If I need to wet it and everything, you, you just got to stay prepared. Okay. And so with that being said, that is all for my hair things. Next up is my makeup bag. So with my makeup bag... I have my mascara, my eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette, and my makeup wipes, of course. And then just in here, I keep little 
essential stuff like rubber bands as well or q-tips whether it's so i can clean my ears or wipe my makeup off um and yeah that's just pretty much what my makeup bag consists of i have a razor in here a couple of lip glosses and um mascara because i really don't wear a lot of makeup i just wear mascara and eyeshadow and eyeliner that's pretty much the only thing i wear for makeup team natural and because i don't know how to do my makeup but yes that's basically what all i have for that i'm pretty simple y'all pretty simple nothing too much next up i always have some ibuprofen because i don't know but i just go through a phase with having headaches they tend to appear and then stay for long periods of time so no matter where i'm at whether if i'm just hanging out for the day i still always have my ibuprofen on me so that is a must that i bring with me in my spin the night bag because you never know what's going to happen next up with that you know your girl anybody whether wherever you go just keep intact with your perfume i don't know who doesn't love perfume who doesn't love smelling good but i definitely have a must on bringing perfumes with me in my spin the night bag or whether if i'm just going out in the car like i just love to smell good and i know my ladies out there can agree okay so next up i have my insurance y'all because i'm i was supposed to be going on a weight gain journey but i always bring my insurance with me just for something that i can like you know snack on so i always have one to two of these in my spin the night bag as well just to be you know in the backup side have me a little drink a little snack make me feel like i'm doing what i'm supposed to do so yeah i always have this one of these or two next up is my pads i don't wear tampons got me charged or whatever i just don't you know feel like or have the urge to put one or try to use one right now but you never know what will happen whether you know your cycle comes on or you just need it so you always want to stay intact with your feminine products as well making sure just for a backup and that goes for panty liners as well i don't have one on me but normally i would put panty liners in my spinning night bag as well ladies you know or oh, i forgot my lint roller i don't know about y'all but i hate having lint on my clothes whether it's dog hair or regular lint just no that just i feel like just turns the whole outfit off like even if nobody sees it and only you i just feel like you have to get that lint off so no matter what i do where i go i always keep a lint roller on me as well so that's going in my spin night bag as well that is what i use and take with me and i forgot my edge control brush was supposed to have been with the other stuff but of course i have an edge control brush that i will be bringing because i have to do my edges on a daily come on now all right so with that being said let's get to the next one you always have to have washcloths i'm not saying you always have to have but it's just nice to always bring washcloths y'all have a face washcloth and a body washcloth now i don't personally bring a towel because my boyfriend has clean towels ready for me you know when i get there i just provide my washcloths as you should provide your washcloths <laughs> maybe even towels you could provide towels as well but just for me i bring clean washcloths every time because i know it's a towel waiting for me there okay period okay so next up we're going into the clothes because i'm pretty much done with all of my products and everything that i need all of my necessities and all so i have my scarf to tie my hair up it's a must whether you have a scarf a bonnet like you got to throw it on because at times it's just like, do I feel like doing my hair tomorrow? No. And like, I just, I don't know. I just don't sleep without a scarf at all. Personally, no matter where I'm at, I always have a scarf or a bonnet on because I do not want to mess up my hair. Whether it's in a ponytail and it's a mold because it's just like, who wants to get up and keep redoing their hair? Not I. I'd rather just do edges and just, you know, keep it pushing. So I'm so comfortable with wearing my scarf. It don't matter what time of the day I would throw it on around my boyfriend or not. It's just an essential need, especially when I go away because it's just like, what if I want to lay down? What if I want to take a nap? Boom, you have it. 
Next up, I have my clothes. I always, always, always have socks. I don't know. It's kind of like a pet peeve of mine because I don't walk around in my house without socks. So I'm definitely not going to walk around, you know, nobody else's house without socks or shoes on my feet in general. So I always, always, always have to have me some clean pairs of socks, y'all, and my stuff. And no matter if it go in my outfit or not, I just always bring extra socks as well. Next, we have my outfits i have jeans some skinny jeans and a shirt for if me and my boyfriend decide to go out i bring a couple of options y'all i bring a couple of options because it's like you know is it going to be cold wherever we go is it going to be hot wherever we go you just never know what we're going to be doing so i kind of bring options to just go based off how you know i'm gonna feel if i'm gonna be comfortable or not you know so i have a going out outfit like you know if he's going out to hang out with his friends or go out on a date or something like that and then i bring an extra pair of skinny jeans y'all like i said i bring extra clothes because you never know what's gonna happen or which one to wear so yeah and then next i always have a go-to leggings and a go-to hoodie like it don't matter what i do where i go i'm always bringing a hoodie and leggings that's the go-to like come on now you want to be comfortable what if y'all would just want to chill and lounge around in the house all day that's something to do if you want to go take a run to the gas station or get some ice cream that's something comfortable i would wear i also have my jean jacket i never go nowhere with my without my jean jacket like I don't know if it's just me, but I never go anywhere without my jean jacket, y'all. I always have to have my jean jacket. Just I just feel like it's just something that's just going to keep me comfortable, something to just throw on when that time comes. So that's a must that I always bring in my spend the night bag as well. And then you know you can't have clothes or spend the night anywhere without having pajamas and underwears. So I have my underwears. And depending on how long I stay, let's say I stay for two days, I'm still bringing around roughly five to six underwears. I don't know. That's just me. I just like to be on the safe side. Even if it's one day, I'm still bringing around four to five, you know, underwears because I just want to be on the safe side. You get what I'm saying? Besides uh, the underwears, you always have to have you some pajamas, whether it's a shorts and a tank top or a regular t-shirt. I personally, I sleep in big t-shirts, underwear, that's my pajamas, so maybe you like pajama sets or, you know, but I like sleeping in my boyfriend's shirts or if I have a t-shirt, I like sleeping in that and throwing on some little booty shorts or whatever and that's that. Okay, I'm not done just yet. I forgot my jewelry. I always pack my jewelry like one necklace or two necklaces and a pair of earrings depending on my outfits. I always pick that same set of jewelry to wear with all of my outfits just to keep it simple and just you know not have too much going on but to just keep it simple all right well you guys that concludes this video that's pretty much all that i had to show you guys i felt like i was forgetting something but i have everything here that i would pack to go spend a night over my boyfriend's house so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for tagging along with me hopefully this you know helped or motivated some of you guys to get some of the products i have and pack them in the next time you go spend the night but this is just what i do what i bring with me to spend the night and i hope you guys enjoy make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below what other videos you want to see if you want me to do another video kind of like this and make sure you guys subscribe if you are new once again i am cindy michelle and thank you for watching this video i love you guys see you in the next one